Hey everyone, my name is Kanish, uh, and today I'm going to talk about how you can build lightning fast websites with Fleek. Now, there's a lot that I want to talk to you about today. First is obviously websites, right? And then it's also about dev tooling, about using SDKs, CLIs, all that good stuff. And how, how you as an engineer, somebody in the Filecoin ecosystem, somebody in the LifePair ecosystem, anybody can build on Fleek and leverage from the amazing infrastructure that we've built up. Before I continue, I hope you can hear me all the way at the back, right? If you can't let me know, I'll be louder, right? So with that, today we're going to learn how we can build lightning fast websites with Fleek. Now the biggest thing I want to talk about is that Web3 is great, right? Look all around you. So many people building amazing things, you know, really, really taking research to the next level. But there's still a big problem. Most of these websites in Web3, they're still slow, right? And even with the infra that centralized providers can get to you, they're slow. That's the biggest problem that poor performance kills so many websites like right there. A fun fact is that if your website takes one second to load, 10% to 20% of your users drop then and there. Now that's such a huge part of business, gone. And that is something we can help with and I'm going to talk about that in the future. Next up, of course, high reliance on centralized technologies, AWS, Google Cloud, all those good guys, they're good. But if you rely too much on a single point of failure, the second you forget paying your bill, you're gone, just like that. And I've had that happen to me, and I never want that happen to you. Finally, not enough support for serverless environments. Now today, of course, AWS is getting there, right? It's getting their Lambda services, Edge services, where Cell has you know, serverless functions now. But if you want to integrate quickly, you want decentralized serverless functions as well to scale quicker than Web2 services. Otherwise, what are we doing here, right? If you're not if you're not building better UX, what are we doing here? So now moving forward, with Fleek we can solve all of that. The first thing we solve is that with the Fleek platform, you can get all these services that I just talked about. Good performance, no single point of failure, and amazing decentralization for your front ends, for your websites. We support all sorts of frameworks, React, Next.js, Angular, Vue. So are there, have you ever worked with Angular? Next.js, right? That's a good one, right? What, what is the framework you guys work with on the front end? Right, React, right? Such a good one. So easy to use. Now, with the amazing UX that, or like developer experience that React has, we want to build that in Web3 and we want to decentralize that. And that is what Fleek platform is all about. Second is the Fleek network itself. With Fleek network, you get all these amazing full stack features like server-side rendering, decentralized compute, and of course, serverless functions that I just talked about. So today, I'm gonna to walk you through all of this. And in the first step of that, is of course, talking about the Fleek platform itself. Using the Fleek platform, you get all these amazing features. You can host your websites, you can do storage with IPFS, which is why, you know, Falcon has been so kind to give us the space and talk about it. You can do domains, ENS, DNS. We are so modular, we support all sorts of domains and DNS providers in the world. Next up, we got addressing. So if you have content with you, you can obviously generate CIDs with that. CID stands for content identifier. And with that, you can obviously pin files to IPFS. With Fleek, you get a gateway to access those files and actually build scalable products. Of course, you got CDN. CDN stands for content delivery network. If you've ever worked with HTML and you've used that meta tag, right? That helps you embed onboard bootstrap, tailwind, all that good stuff that happens through CDN. And with Fleek, you can do that and build your own decentralized CDN as well. That's actually one of the reasons why we started. And then we just embarked on this journey of building amazing products. And of course, compute. Now with compute, the big component of Fleek network comes into the picture. And I'm gonna talk about that in just one second. But before I continue, for anybody hacking during ETH Denver, we want to support you, we want to guide you. The number one way to deploy your website is the Fleek platform right here. So just go to fleek.xyz, it's actually open right here. On the other tab, I'm gonna walk you through it. But with this, you can deploy your website in 30 seconds, that's it. Next up is the Fleek SDK, now that's important for you. Because when you pin files to IPFS, or you wanna use computation or any sort of IPFS features, you can do that using the Fleek SDK. And in the recent features of Fleek SDK, you can pin files, but also, you can pull all the files in your project. That's extremely important for full stack applications. 
finally, with the Fleet CLI, you never even have to go to the platform. You can just build scalable applications using Fleek, using the CLI. Can anybody tell me the full form of a CLI? Come on, full form of CLI. Any developer? Command line interface. Good job. Command line interface, right? So the reason we built this and this is so that you never even have to go to the platform. Without the website, you can do all of this and more. And I'm going to walk you through that in just the next step. Okay, now it's time that we deploy a set. Are you guys ready for a live demo? Will you, will you hit me if the live demo goes wrong? No, right? <laughs> awesome. So let's talk. This is the Fleek website. This is called Fleek XYZ. It helps you build lightning fast applications. Just a little side note, if you've ever seen us before, that was fleek.co. That is being sunset very, very soon. And this is where all the cool kids are. So if you want to be the cool kid in crypto, you got to come here. All right. Now, when you come to this website, all you have to do is click on Join Alpha, all right? And when you click on Join Alpha, you'll go to a page that looks like this, all right? So this is where you can deploy your site. You can explore the templates that we have. Now, templates are React, Next, Vue, Swell, Astro, whatever you like. And of course, you can pin files to IPFS. Now, what I'm going to do today, because I'm not hacking, I'm just going to build a quick template for you that you can use in your project. And I'm going to pin a file to IPFS. So let me walk you through the steps. And it's pretty simple. It just takes like 15 seconds. Step number one, how do you pin files, right? So you go to the store your files section. Now this shows you files that you've already pinned. If you don't have anything pinned yet, you'll see nothing, of course. So what I'll do, I'm just going to pin a file. I'll go upload files. And I have a lot of random photos in my computer. I'm going to pin this one, you know, something I picked off of Figma. And here I go, and I go open. Now, as you can see at the bottom right here, the file is being pinned and it just got added right here. March 1, 2024. And I think that's running in India time. I'm from India. That's running 12 hours ahead. But that's how it's going to look like. And when you click on it, there you go. It is going to open that file for you and you'll be able to see what I just uploaded. There you go. Right. And if you remember, this particular logo is what we usually use for hosting, you know, just adding some correlations. Now moving forward, how do you deploy a site? Now that is the most important. Because if you want to win from the bounty that we are offering, which is $5,000 at the Data Economy Hackathon by Filecoin, you got to deploy on us. That's the only way to win. So what you do is you go to sites and here you go to add new and you can click on deploying a template right there. Once you click on it, it will ask you what template do you want to use? And you can use Astro, Hugo, you know, Lens Protocol has a good integration with us. So you could do that. I'm a good Next.js developer. I'm going to just pick Next and I'm going to click Deploy Template. That's it. It's going to ask me for my GitHub. So I'm going to connect that. I go GitHub and, you know, I'll do Next.js template at file. Oh, my bad. Filecoin, right? And I'm going to want to be, and now I want to make a public Git repository, not a private one, so that when I look at your projects, I can actually see that repository in action, right? If it's private, you're not going to win anything. So make sure it's public. And all I do is deploy. That's it. And now we are going to put this project into your GitHub, into your repository section of GitHub. You don't have to do anything. We did all that for you. And in a, in a couple of seconds, it will redirect depending on the internet speed. And you will be able to deploy a site. There you go. Now, as soon as uh, the building here will stop, you will get your URL right here and you can access it. And that's it. It took us about one minute to do all of that and we're done. And that is how quickly Fleet can ex uh, excel your production levels and your deployment levels and you can build scalable applications very quickly. Amazing. Do you guys have any questions so far? Anything you're wondering? Anything at all? Yes, sir. So if I'm running something on Vercel, yeah. um, and I did the whole GitHub, yeah. I'm guessing it'll just work out of the box on this. Absolutely. Sweet. If you have a GitHub repo, just come to this section right here. Uh, go to your first project, go to deploy a site, add new, deploy my site. And now instead of using a template, you connect your GitHub. Let me actually show you what that will look like. And here you go. You'll be able to see all the repositories that I have. Just click on deploy and you're done. That's it. Yes, sir. Now it's time that we go back because I want to talk about something that I'm particularly excited about in the Fleek ecosystem. And that is the Fleek network. 
So far, what we saw was just front end, right? Deploying a Next.js application with a static side generation. But with the Fleet network, you get all these amazing features to build an application that scales better than anybody around here. So if you want to build something that actually wins you the prize, this is where you should be. And for you to try that out, this is the code playground that we have. So on the code playground, you can make serverless functions. All you have to do is make a function that is in JavaScript. You don't need Node.js, you don't need Express.js, basic JavaScript, deploy it and you're done. Let me show that in action, okay? Here we go. This is the Fleet Network Code Playground. It has a couple of functions I was messing around with. It has this function that we give you. Now this is a template. You can edit it as you like and it will work. When you click on deploy right here, I'm gonna show you actually. So we go to new. This is the function again, all right? Um, do, we, do we wanna do something daring? Let's edit this and let's see how it works, all right? We'll do that together. So if it fails, it's on you, not on me. So what I'm gonna do at e Denver. All right, simple edits, add it Denver. Now what I do, I deploy this function, it goes to IPFS, now Fleet Network can pull that from IPFS and pull it on all the nodes that we have, which means whichever node you are closest to, you get data from right there. You don't need a centralized provider somewhere in US Central A, any random thing like that. You run a node right there, that's your data point, that's it. It's gone on IPFS, we got it, and you can put that in your React app, Next app, Astro app, whatever, using this URL right here. So you can actually copy this, uh, something like this, and paste it in your project. What you have to do then is just run a fetch request and it will work. To simulate that fetch request environment, we have the run function right here. I'm gonna simulate that right here, and this particular output should appear here, ideally speaking, all right? Before I move forward with that, I also wanna tell you that if you wanna explore more about it, we have the learn more button right here, which has documentation for it, so you can learn more about what kind of APIs we provide access to by clicking on it. If you click on it, you'll go to a new page. It will open that document for you. You can read everything about it. The engineering team has worked hard on putting all these events for you. You can grab them and do whatever you want with them. Now with that said, it is time that I go back. I close this and the moment of truth, all right? I'm putting a lot of pressure on this, I shouldn't. But there you go, the output will be loading and in a couple of seconds, it should appear right here if everything works fine, all right? Uh, IPS, IPFS has this thing called BitSwap, and if you don't know, what it does is it takes data and it puts, uh, puts it on all the nodes. And until unless that happens, we can pull. But in a couple of seconds, if you run it, it should appear right here, and there you go. So it helped me to show you what BitSwap is, it helped me to show you the entire ecosystem, and that's it, that's how we work with the Fleet Network. Now with this, let's go back because now you know how to work. So if you want to mess around with it, use it in your project. With the Filecoin Data Economy Hackathon, you can win up to $5,000. The bounty is asymmetrically built out. So if you build a really cool project, you get all the money. I don't mind, we'll give it to you. And this is the link for the application I just showed you. You can take a photo and you can build it later on as well. Now we go forward, we've already deployed the function, that part is done. And with this, it's time to do a little bit of recap. What are we trying to do here? We are trying to build performance for Web3, right? And if we can provide a better UX, a better DX, which is developer experience, we've done our job, right? It's not about Web2 or Web3 anymore for us at this point. It's about good products that actually scale and where control is with you, not with some centralized authority. Then we have Fleet Network, which can help you do edge computation, really, really scale your applications and build amazing products. Then we have that developers can use the CLI and the SDK. We just saw that. And finally, the code playground which we just saw. I hope this was exciting. We put a lot of love and effort into all these things that we built out. If you have any questions, reach out to me, reach out to Dalton right here. He's the main guy, and we are gonna help you out build amazing products. That's about it. Thank you so much for listening to me, and see you all around. Thank you.